Hello, my name is Natasha Miller from Cedars Pac-Man Research Project. So our team members are Colton Roach, a senior in computer science, Eddie Reichert, a junior in computer science, Jessica Gigax, a senior in computer science, and myself, a senior in mechanical engineering. We also had assistance from Dr. Mike Bravchek and graduate students Shea Wolf, Andy Robbins, and Mason Johnson throughout this project. So first, just some background information on this research. Behavioral biometrics is a method of tracking a user's physical tendencies, such as how quickly they type something or how they tend to move a mouse around a screen, and then using these sorts of patterns to confirm their identity. So in Pac-Man, this idea is applied to how users solve a randomly generated maze, like the one you see on the left here. Um, in previous research on this sort of game-based authentication, only 80% accuracy or around there was reached, which isn't quite high enough for real authentication purposes. Hello, my name is Colton, and I'll be explaining the problem statement for the Pac-Man project. The main objective of Pac-Man is to determine the validity of someone's identity based on how they solve a maze. There are a few benefits to using something like Pac-Man versus something like a traditional password. Using behavioral biometric data is a more secure approach to user authentication. This is because every person has unique cognitive patterns and it is very difficult for anyone else to steal or replicate those patterns, making security from imposters better. The picture below illustrates the idea of the project. We gather genuine user biometric data and adversarial data and we process it. Then the model is trained and tested using the data. Finally, we can determine the identity of a user based on the model. Hi, I'm Adeline. In terms of the methods for our project, we had the maze collect data from users as they completed it. We would collect their X and Y position as they moved throughout the maze. We would collect the number of wall collisions they'd made up to that point, as well as the number of cumulative actions they had taken up to that point. We would also collect their score at each data point recorded, as well as note the timestamp of each data point. We were able to take this data and combine it into giving us a cross-correlation score when compared with every other trial. We were able to take these and form a heat map with them, which is what's depicted in the image below. Correlations closer to one are more on the green end of the spectrum, and correlations closer to zero are more on the red end of the spectrum. So you can see that diagonal line throughout the center of very dark green, and that depicts every trial compared to itself, which obviously has a correlation of one, as we'd expect. And then every trial compared with each of the other trials has a correlation somewhere in that red-green spectrum. Hi, everyone. My name is Jessa, and I will be going over the results, challenges, and future work for our project. We had the main goal of being able to authenticate a user based on how they solved the maze. We used two approaches to do this. We used a mini rocket algorithm that had high accuracy, but was very difficult to implement for our project. We also used a cross correlation method that had some differences between users, but required further testing. This leads us into the challenges. Our main challenge was that our current maze is too simple. So to do this, we have to create a more difficult maze. We can do this by adding barriers or monsters that the user has to avoid before solving the puzzle. We can also reconsider the mini rocket implementation to see how it can fit better for our project. So with that being said, that is our Pac-Man summer project. Thank you for listening.